The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. So, this is episode 128 of our podcast. We have done 127 episodes leading up to this episode right now that you're listening to. And we realize that there is a possibility, a slight possibility, however unlikely, that you may not have heard all 127 episodes. That's not even including the special editions and the the interviews and the yada, yada, yada. We release a lot of content. So it's quite possible that you haven't heard every single solitary episode, which is why we like to start off the podcast with a previously on to kind of catch you up on what we've been doing on the show and to let you know what happened in the last episode. So we would like to do that now. It, it really, it's a public service to help you, the listener, yeah. understand what we, the podcasters, are doing. So without any further ado, or maybe some ado, maybe, maybe a, a little, little bit ado. of ado. Yeah. You, but you, not, you always need a little bit of ado, especially in the summer yeah. where you're getting sweaty. It helps keep your hair back. Yeah. So with a little Tiffany bit ado, more I believe ado. it was. Isn't it, honey? Yeah. Yeah. Tiffany ado. So with some do, previously on the Pope on Film, well, last week was another episode of Nonstop Laughs at the Pope on Film. Yeah. As a wacky series of events landed Bunny in jail? What? The best scene of the last episode was Bunny's in jail. This big buff guy without sleeves looks like he's about to beat up Bunny. Then at the last second, Genie shows up. Bunny, you've got a visitor. And it's Genie there to bail out Bunny. And Genie has her arms crossed, all upset, and wagging her finger at Bunny. And Bunny just leans against the bars, looks directly at the camera, and says his beloved catchphrase, which is... Let the robots do it. Oh, and then then the, the laugh track, and everybody just yeah. loved that. And then straight to commercial. And now I can carry a six-pack in my ass. Then Steve started planning a surprise vacation for his wife, Natasha. But Natasha thought for sure that Steve was actually cheating on Natasha. Oh, what a wacky miscommunication that was. Then at the end of the episode, all four of us had dinner at the New York apartment we all share. (laughs) And the show ended with a freeze frame as we all laughed at some joke. Like Bunny said, the cat said the the punchline of the joke, which was... You mean the cat's still wet? Ha 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 ha! Freeze! Then our theme song, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do, do-do, credits. A Stephen J. Cannell production. And that was the last episode of the Pope on Film. So, and, 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 and unfortunately, with with all the controversy that wound up surrounding that episode, we are legally prohibited from ever showing it again. And yeah. it's it's sad because it was a classic. It was really some of our best work. Yeah, I especially liked the work of. Um, uh, Emerald, who is always just on her phone and rolling her eyes. Yes. Ugh, whatever, Dad. And of course, cute young Maxwell, who would just walk in and go, What the what? And everyone would laugh because that's his catchphrase. <laughs> what the what? And he, he looks all cute. What the what? <laughs> and then everybody laughs. So, first off, right off the bat, uh, uh, my little cheesy beef burrito. <laughs> oh my god, the last episode was long. Yes, it oh was. My god. It was freaking long. Don't get me wrong, it was a crazy good episode. It was yes, it damn was. good. But god, of all the episodes to go long, I would have never have guessed it would have been the episode about the sparkly vampires. <laughs> but it's a damn good episode. 
It's a damn good episode. We had a lot to say. So if you've yet to hear last week's episode, you should go listen to last week's episode, episode 127, fucking Twilight. Also, real quick, just wanted to mention, I'm, I, I've i lived here in uh, nowhere, Oklahoma, for like five and a half years now. Five and a half years. And I'm not sure if this has always been happening to me, and I just haven't noticed it up until this point. Yeah. But I swear to God, every weekend that I have to go to work, so every Saturday that I go to work, this summer, every Saturday that I've gone to work, the drive to work has become a bad 80s video game. <laughs> okay. Because it's like, oh, uh, uh, welcome to Steve's drive to work for the Commodore 64. Help Steve make it to work. Avoid the avoid the turtles. Yes. Yes, like, and I'm picturing it would all be, uh, it would be, I would go with the amber screen color, you yeah. know, and the turtle. The turtle is basically three blocky dots. Yeah, just a dot, dot, and one on top with a little triangle. Yeah, but but yeah, it, it's it's an '80s video game. Watch out! Watch out for the watch out for the birds and the turtles. Yeah, it's like it, I all these goddamn animals keep getting in front of my car and i'm worried because i know that if i hit them i'll have to start over in the beginning yeah Mm -hmm. like my car will just blink and i'll hear next thing i know i'm back at home back in the old times yeah and i have to do the drive all over the time before save points yeah yeah Uh, uh, the before time in the long, long ago. Long, long ago. 